is. It's a good list to have, it's important. What a no list is, is a list of performers you were absolutely under any circumstance not work with. Either female or male. For one reason or another, usually bad. And I tell my agent that, and so he won't book me with those people. I don't know a lot of people like that give it out like beforehand, but I've definitely like been booked and been like, hey, actually that's someone I don't uh, perform with. So please don't book me with that person. And then you have to like actually justify the answer to if they're like, well, why you put me on no list? You know, often there is a grace period and we are cool and then we work with each other again. I have people on my no list, of course. I do have a no list. It's small, but there's a couple people on there. I literally have no one on my no list. There's two girls on my no list for sex scenes. In fact, I don't have a no list, <laughs> at least not in the US, because all my experiences have been very good by far. I actually don't have a no list, I have a yes list. Any girl, but with dudes, there's basically only like 10 dudes I work with, and that list gets cut in half from my butthole. I'm bougie. I'm good, so I have no no list. <laughs> so most companies that I work with, they ask me who I want to shoot with. I've had really good experiences so far, so I don't have a no list. I definitely have a to-do list of people that I would absolutely love to have sex with on film. I have had probably like two people on it in the past. I don't have one. I'm bang anybody. What does it take to someone to be in my no list? Somebody were to show up on set with an open wound, of which I've been on set with that, that means no. If you're blatantly racist or nasty on social media, I'll put you on my no list. Um, has either had a bad reputation in the community or uh, you personally just don't find attractive or anything like that. To, to get on my porn no list, you have to be like, openly misogynistic in a not sexy fashion. Misogynistic in a sexy fashion? Totally fine. I do that fucking shit all the time. It's usually with the newer guys, they just don't know what they're doing and they just tend to complain. Or if they were to show up on set with a, uh, an, a bad test, if they had tested positive for an STD, then I would say no. If you show up with an obvious outbreak of some kind, you're going on my no list because you don't care about my health and that I have a problem with. For me, if you don't really like girls and you're just doing it for the money, I will absolutely put you on a no list because I want girls, I want my scenes to be as real as possible. And if your vagina is not up to par, no list. <laughs> One of them is because I've been around her vagina and it was pretty disgusting when I was around it. I don't really wanna put my face anywhere near it. People who are not hygienic, and I'm not just one time, because sometimes, you know, things happen. If you're not hygienic the second time I fuck you, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna fuck you again, because I will gag. And I politely say something to you, and you flip the fuck out and make a huge deal out of it. We're not having sex again. But I suppose if someone is, um, is, is not professional, or they are not, like, they don't take care of me, uh, that would be a good reason for being in a no list. Probably if they were like real assholes. When someone don't respect you and something. If someone was mean to you, or if someone was really rough with you on a set, or if you just flat out don't like the person or you don't have good chemistry. Like if you don't like women and you don't wanna fuck women or work with women or be intimate with women, why would I wanna have sex with you? That's no. If I don't like feel safe, especially if I'm like subbing, like if someone is just like, I know has like bad boundaries or is a dick, like, and I don't, you know, I don't trust them to do that with me. There was one guy that I worked with who, I don't think he knew a lot about BDSM, but he tried really fucking hard. And he was like choking me out during this one scene and I like passed out. And that's definitely not allowed to happen. <laughs> um, in most cases, in pretty much all cases, it doesn't. But with this guy in particular, he just, he went way too hard. Like he, he bit my neck until it bled and he kept hitting me and just, he was like using BDSM as a form of abuse. And so after that scene, um, I never worked with him again. I guess to get on my no list, you would really have to be a piece of shit. If someone has a poor attitude, I've been on set where I'm supposed to work with a person and she looks at the PA and she goes, can you do this? 
can you do that? Wipes her fucking vagina, drops it on the floor. I'm like, how disrespectful of you. You are a shit human being. I will not work with you. Performers that are just not nice people in general and I've worked with before that are just total assholes, be it guys or girls. Yeah, just don't be a diva, don't be a cunt. To get on my no list, you would have to um, not respect my boundaries. <laughs> Um, yeah, pretty much that, which my boundaries are, I don't really have many. So you just have to be an asshole or like really arrogant or selfish to be on my no list. Although there are some people who aren't on my no list who are that way too, but they kind of separate that when they start performing. I, I guess they would have to push a boundary if I said no and it kept going or something like that. When someone hurt you, uh, when you have a scene or something like this. But as I say, like, I'm a very easygoing person. It's very complicated to make me angry. So at the moment, I haven't, had, I haven't got any problems with anybody. Mm -hmm.